Okay, so hello guys. Um, just came back from the range. Um, shooting this uh, AM15 from Anderson Manufacturing. That's actually the lower. Um, so here we have. Show you the logo real quick. Right there. And this is the lower multi-caliber Anderson Manufacturing AM15 and then we have the Bear Creek Arsenal upper the 223 wild I think it's called um, and it has a six hour uh, six hour Romeo 5 and some Macpool MOE the stock and the uh, the grip it has a aftermarket I think this is an aftermarket uh, trigger guard right there as you can see so yeah um, just came back from the range cleaned it looped it um, it's side charging right here has a we shot that mant 2 with a uh, man two magazines um, this one the ones I took they're blocked for 15 rounds so yeah let's weigh it with the magazine Insert it. The firearm is clear so there we got seven pounds and seven pounds and a half seven point eight so yeah it worked flawlessly um the first um the first 10 rounds i loaded in which were the last ones to come out um were 556 five, i believe they're winchester white box uh, and then i shot pmc the first five rounds were pmc bronze i think they're called um but they were two two three and it ran both of them so yeah i worked very happy with the rifle actually worked pretty good um my friend shot it and he liked it um my uh, red dot is not well we were shooting seven yards so you know it was shooting kind of low i had to compensate a little bit but it's normal because uh obviously the red dot is over the, the the barrel so you know if you uh, draw an uh, Im imaginary line all the way to the target you know you're gonna have that difference right there you know so you know it's normal it, it was gonna shoot low um, so I just left it as is you know um, but yeah it worked pretty good um, feels sturdy feels nice um, I'm gonna show you the range video real quick and you're gonna see it work uh, flawlessly so Anderson manufacturing lower AM15 lower and the Bear Creek Arsenal 223 wild upper uh, I'm gonna show you the range video now uh, I was gonna do something else oh yeah wait before I leave let me show you the trigger Real quick so the firearm is clear fire position so here's the trigger Let's see if I can get this on camera so it just breaks the trigger is pretty nice actually reset and breaks you know it's not that bad and let's do the trigger weight let's do a reset one more time there we go so it has very little uh, take up. Let's try the weight. Maybe it's heavy. So five pounds and a half. Let's do it one more time. Five pounds, 12 ounces. So yeah, it's around five pound and a half trigger. So yeah, we're pretty good. Thanks guys, I'm going to show you the range video now. Bye bye.
Safety? Safety? Downward. Like that. Here. Ready? Go. I was like. Oh, the holocaust are the same way. Yeah. 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 And silent. Yeah. They're coming up. Quick. Yeah. I remember. But yeah, this thing, like I said, my 2011 just beat the fuck out of you. Bro, I bought the sight bridge for it. Uh huh. Yeah. I broke it. It's the big broke. Honey, Yeah. How smooth it is. Yeah, that's really That makes sense. That and that. 
Oh, uh, those nine millimeter buff stops in there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But this thing gets beat. It, this is I finally put this one on here. This one's been holding up. But this one just beats it. Like I said, that's probably a dozen. That's it. Is that it? Yeah. Make sure it's clear. Move the Pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. There we go. Put it down. Open this. What the hell is it? Cut all, all that up. So cool. Then cool. And all those.